Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a beer from Zoigel House. So Zoigel House is out of Portland, uh, in German's Bybury. Um, this is their coach. So they actually got a International Beer Awards gold in 2021 for this guy. Ooh, okay. Um, uh, they talk about some stuff. They're inspired by trips to Germany. Da -da -da. All German hops, all German malts. Slow and cool fermented Kölsch yeast. Back from Brewmaster Studies in Germany. So, um, cool stuff. Zoigel House, nice. First beer from Zoigel House. I think the other beer I had was Wayfinder's Coach, which is great fire. Am I correct? I think so. That was like a week ago, so. <laughs> um, I had a lot of beers with you. I, I, I do, I've been um, going through a lot of beers, so um, a lot of beers to go through. This is Zoigel House. First tried it. Wow, okay. So this is not traditional. Like, um, yeah. Like, traditional Coach is like quite clear. Uh, this is hazy as well. I'm like, what the hell? This is, it does look like a hazy IPA, but it looks like, like a hazy pale ale or something like that. Like the beer comes in a mm, light gold to strong color, but it's got a full on, like medium to medium plus haze. Yeah, yeah, medium to distorts you. Medium plus haze. Not uh, medium to medium plus. Like it's not completely opaque. I can sort of see a shot of my finger. Uh, wonderful fluffy white head. Very cool. I mean, I guess they don't do filtration, but I mean, I, I don't have an issue with it. That's all it tastes great. It tastes great. So, but unfiltered coach. <laughs> Let's try that. Oh, yeah. That smells great. Ooh, yeah. I mean, that's, um, it's that, like, it, it's more than just, like, what what I expect. Or, anyway, so first thing I'm going in, it's got a German nose. The German nose, like, you know, Bohemian Pilsner and all, like, it's, it's that classic aroma. Um, it's crackery, it's grainy, it's, like, a little bit of white grape. It's just the, it's, it's, it's the, the, it smells like, you know, uh, like, good, no, not, not quite, like, mashing, but, yeah, it smells like milling. Like, the mills of grains, like, it has that just very distinct kind of German lightest malt you can go character like but on top of that it's like floral pretty um there's a little bit of like more going on there's almost like a meatiness to the malt like as in not actual like protein but like or not actual like red meat but like there's there's more oomph. There, there's a more more maltiness you know you can turn on the volume on more malty it just has a little bit more intensity of that kind of like aroma that i'm thinking about <sighs> There's also this like honeysuckle note, like there's clearly something like sweeter in here. There's honeysuckle, there's um, honeycomb, there's, there's this uh, like lemongrass, like citrusy bite to it. It's like, yeah, it smells really awesome, cheers. Like it's got way more going on just than blank Bohemian pills, which is fine. Like Bohemian, like that, that like Pilsner malt character is fine. Like it, it Ellis just straight up smells like a Pilsner can smell like that on top of their kind of hop, hop regimen. Like, here I get like a little bit more than I'm familiar with, but yeah, cheers. Oh, there you go. Kolsch. Okay. Um, so ideally, uh, with Kolsch, I, I always have a hard time uh, pinpointing this out. There's a little bit, hmm, am I wrong? No, I thought it was, I thought it was looking for off flavor in here, but. This is very, very specific, but like I almost get the lightest, lightest, lightest hint of burnt. Uh, I don't know if they do like a direct fire, direct fire kettle. Uh, maybe the boil could have gotten a little intense, but again, that's all like just me suspecting stuff that might not even be there. So anyway, if that's the case, that's the case, but very tasty beer otherwise. Um, rounded malt character. Uh, again, follows the nose. It has that kind of like classic German character, but now on the palate, it has even more going on. Like, it, like I, it seems like it almost can taste like sun filter. Like, there's more sweetness to it. There's more um, body to the beer. There's more malt uh, complexity. It has more than just that kind of like white grape and like crackery, uh, a cracked grain character. Um, I get a little bit of like white doughy bread. I get a little bit of like vanilla wafer, a little bit of sweetness in there. Kolsch, ideally, you get a little bit of like light acid profile, um, and maybe get a little like hint of air or something. I can sort of see what's going. Um, it's definitely not pills, right? It doesn't have the German pills like hard, hard, snappy, harsh finish. Not harsh, but like a snappy, crisp finish. Um, it also doesn't have like the sweet, just like 
canvas that um, Hellas has. So it's sort of dance somewhere there where it's just like a little less bitter than pills, but like a little bit more malt character than like the complexity of malt than Munich Hellas. And then maybe, maybe you can, may, again, always hard, but like, you know, maybe you can pick out that little bit of like ester that you're getting in That's a crushable drinkable beer. The beer sits at what? I, I'm getting that weird hint of like something going on. It could be the hot bitterness. It could be something that's just like a little slightly phenomenal for me. A little funky, but I'm going to try to ignore that. Uh, the beer's crushable. Um, 4.9%. I mean, the appearance is pretty interesting. I'm curious why they went with it. Just like, I mean, maybe they just have a small brick house. I'm just like, hey, filtration's not in the game. Or, but even then, can they not like brighten up the beer? Or like, we'll brush it on it. Maybe this is what they're looking for. I will say, though, I can't imagine this version of the beer would have gotten gold at International Beer Awards. Like, I don't, I think, I, BJCP would not give me, like, a lot of points for, like, a beer that looked this hazy that's called Kush. Like, you go to Cologne, like, none of the beers look like this, but, yeah. uh, very tasty Kush. Um, I like it. Uh, it's hard to find the good shape here. Like, you know, these, we, we get Gaffel, Fua, um, Gaffel, Fua. Anyway, we get, like, the brands that I've, I've talked about. Uh, we get the brands that we get, but, um, they just don't come here in the great shape. This one's very tasty. Let's go with the solid. 90. 94. 94. This is a really tasty beer. So, Zogol House. Check it out. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.